that moment where you understand who you are and what your calling is in these earth in this earth. Now there's a spiritual call, but there's also a natural call, and they're gonna work hand in hand because whatever you're doing in the natural, you'll see yourself doing it in a spiritual environment. You can still get your life back. Get your life back, it's real. Get your life back. Get your life back. And I am called to serve. And so that's what I do at the end of the day. But I love and have a passion to help other people learn how to use their gifts, their talents, their skill set to serve others as well, to operate in your zone of genius, to operate in your purpose and in your passion. Because I do believe that when you operate in your purpose and in your passion, you live life on a higher level. You have a sense of gratitude and gratefulness and you're humble because you understand that you're being used by God and you understand that when you give out to people, you understand the positive influence you have on their lives. And you know that it, it, it can become something that's generational because now they have something that you deposited in them. I'm talking about the people you serve, then they go ahead and pay it forward. And I truly believe that's the way God wants us to live our lives. So I am, above all things, a Christian base everything <laughs> entrepreneur parallelpreneur because i also have a career um that i thank god for every day because i get to serve in it as well i get to help other people really live life on a different level and really live their best life even after going through tumultuous situations um traumatic experiences in their life but helping people pick the pieces of their life back up together again holding on to place and to pieces and to just grasping finding w the root you know, a stability, but it starts with God. And that's all I know. I know for me, when I've gone through things in life, God was the one. God is the one. Not only helped me get the pieces and getting the pieces of my life back together, but helping me to maintain and to keep <laughs> my mental intact, my emotional wellness, my physical wellness, which I need to keep on working on. <laughs> and everything together. I can't do without him. Um, he's the super strength in my life. And I try to encourage other people to allow God to be the super strength in their life. But today I am so elated. And I really want to talk about a little, I'll try to be short win today, how you know that you're operating in your purpose. The confirmation that you're doing what God called you to do even a confirmation that you are functioning and operating in your genius zone. There is nothing like knowing for sure, knowing that you know that you know that you know you are doing what God called you to do and knowing for sure that God has his hands on you because you'll see the fruits. Just today, a client and one of the students in my life purpose coaching class out of the blue, shocked me and said to me that for the first time as a grown man, after being in my class, he cried. He said he never released, cause he was taught like a lot of other men, you grow up hard, hold on to those emotions, ignore them, and you repress all that stuff, but then you end up being bitter and hard and, and understanding now that that is not healthy for him to live that way. And I talked about how unhealthy that is. I talked a lot about what I can recollect from the class. Oh my God, because I've talked about so much, but it had a lot to do with emotional wellness and the narrative that we learn from our families, our history, you know, and, and not blaming them because people, and I talked about how parents usually give what they know, you know, and sometimes they even parent it out of a ignorant or hurtful place of pain, not realizing it. And we're going to have our own mistakes as well for those of us who are parents or who are going to be parents. And so as you get older and develop more wisdom, then you understand. And that's a lot of times when healing begins because you understand that your parents also was also born in a fallen world, in a fallen state, didn't have all the tools and the strategies. So we're born into dysfunction, really born into a dysfunctional world. So when you get that understanding, it really helps you to heal and then it increases a level of empathy in your life where you can forgive your parents. At least that is the prayer. And I know when you invite God into your heart, he helped you to do just that. But when he said, 
he haven't cried like that as a man? I'm telling right then and there. I said, okay, God, okay, God, okay, all right, all right. This is, this is what you called me for. So I had to give glory to God. I said, because it is the God in me. It was the light in me. But let's be clear. The light, I'm talking, when I say light, I'm talking about the light of God. Not any other light, not any other force of energy, but God. And I said, okay, God, that made me feel, I was high all day. I was high all day. Oh my God. And I had to thank him for sharing that with me. And I said, by you telling me that, it was more confirmation that I'm operating in the gifts and in the ministry and in my purpose, spiritually and naturally. Because even as a mental health professional and emotional wellness coach, this is what I'm doing with people. I'm helping them to heal emotionally. I'm helping them to change the negative narrative or negative core beliefs that they hold on to that has even shaped their mindset and the way they perceive things and how they respond to things based on what they've seen growing up or in their environment or from situations that they have experienced, my God. And so to help people do that in the natural and then in the spiritual, using the word of God, being transformed by the renewing of your mind, my God, the Bible talks about that. And I told them how, isn't it so awesome how cognitive behavioral therapy is so in line with the word of God? Because if you change the way a person think and the way a person believe, then the goal or the hope is that you would change the way they behave, the way they act, the way they respond. You would change the behavior. That is what cognitive behavioral therapy is. Interventions that help people change their mindset, the way they think about things. If you can change the thought process, the cognitive, the cognitive processes, then they can start to see things different. Then you start to move different, right? Because you're seeing a different way. And I remember now it's coming to me. I did talk about that glass half full mentality. I talked about the being able to turn lemons into lemonade, but I focus on ways to help you see the glass half full and that's changing the, your, your language, you know, and how you can do that. Mainly, I say the word, the word of God, because I shared a story about me and things that I was, something that I was going through and how when I started proclaiming and declaring what God's word said over me and over my life, then my mindset became in tune and my steps started to walk after the word of God. So now I'm walking along with God. I'm, I'm in partnership with God. Okay, so this is a partnership. This is a relationship. So now I'm co-signing with what God's word says for my life. But you, so I'm making this personal. You have to make it personal too. So when I started doing that, I started seeing the fruits. I started seeing the benefits. I was like, ah, okay, God, okay. And then my faith increased. My confidence increased. And so today when he said that, it just really continued to affirm what God called me to do and affirm and confirm over and over and over again. And so I just wanted to share that with you, hoping that that'll help somebody too, to come into the realization that just keep doing what you feel strong in your spirit, that you know God is really calling you to do and how you can find out if you're operating in that, in your call, in your purpose, is getting stuff like that. People constantly, and it's the same thing, mind you. I've I heard it many times from other people. And then there's periods where it can seem a little quiet for a minute and you feel maybe, eh, I don't know. And then you hear that again, somebody else will come to you and say how you changed their life. And so when you start to hear that over and over again, it just reminds you, okay, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am where I'm supposed to be at this very moment. This is it right here, right now. Don't know about tomorrow, but right now, oh, I, oh yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. You know, to class doing what I normally do and then to hear that. Now the class was taught on yesterday and he told me that today because he said it was the night, last night 
that he cried. So whatever I deposited him must have sat with him and he thought about it. And then it caused him, because he that's what he said. Thank you. Whew. He said, the reason why it made me cry even more, because I thought about what you said about my God, don't leave me, don't leave me. The thought, don't leave me. How is cathartic? to release crying, how it's healing, how it's good. It's not a, it doesn't mean you're weak. It's actually a, sh a sign of strength. And I actually said, you know, you're more of a man when you understand that God created tear ducts and tears. For, it's a releasing that you can cry because you, you can still be strong in so many areas and still crying is not a sign of weakness. So you, you're still a strong man. He had to change that narrative that, man, you weak if you cry. Man, you better suck it up. Stop being a punk. You know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and so he got the revelation. And I'm telling you, he said it, it broke something. He said, I feel it's coming back to me. I feel a weight has been lifted. I said, praise the Lord. Thank you, God. I'm done. I'm good today. <laughs> I'm so good today. And so what I love about my Get Your Life Back Academy really quick is that I get to teach all of these strategies and interventions in a form of group coaching and individual as well and in my um, virtual courses, online courses. So this way I can talk to a masses amount of people because there's a lot of people who have the same um, issues or dealing with the same struggles and challenges. And so, you know, it's really hard to try to imagine me having 10 and 15 and 20 clients, one-on-one -on -one clients. I would lose it. <laughs> I'll be burnt out for real. But the reason why I am not burnt out when it comes to serving and helping people, because I found a, a, a way, a healthy way, mental health, to serve more people at one time. And so if that is you and you feel like you need some support in emotional wellness you need support with finding out what your purpose and your passion is and how to operate in it and to be really sure about what it is and get that clarity then go to get your life back academy and i actually have a program um it's a subscription program where you know monthly you can get group coaching you can get live stream service for me, support for me, coaching for me, as well as worksheets. And I mean, so many things that come with it, a private group where I get to share with you guys and I get to give you strategies and, and then also work with you live in the group while other people are gleaning and learning and, and getting a lot out of your own story. But I have um, eBooks and I have hard copy books, and just so many things that really help you on your journey to finding out what your purpose and your passion is, but also on your journey of healing and discovering who God called you to be. And if that is you, I'll also, my, uh, let me get back to the subscription. It is called the Purpose Passionpreneur Insiders Club. And in that, you get monthly access to everything that I have in my vault. That teaches you how to not only monetize, your skill set and monetize your inner genius but it helps you first of all discover what your purpose and passion is if you don't know get clarity on it and maybe you do know but now you want to find out how can i package what god has given me to serve other people in the form of a service a program a ministry a business you know whatever that is and for those of you who want to turn what you do your purpose into a business or operate in it because you're supposed to be doing it and how to monetize it and get paid to do what you love to do so you can feel a sense of gratitude and you're doing what you're called to do but you're also taking care of your household then purpose passionpreneur insiders club is for you i also have a workshop called um the purpose passion um workshop actually in that workshop alone, you will focus on how to discover and uncover what your purpose, what your passion is, and just kind of dig in that. And I give you strategies. I give you assignments to do. Okay, I see what you're doing, God, because it's manifested in other areas of my life. So you start seeing that theme. You start seeing what your purpose is. You start to get that clarity, you know, and then you'll hear it. Now you're operating with a different mindset where you can pick it up easier and faster because you, you're listening with a different ear. You're listening what other people are saying, who you are. People tell you they're indicators. And I talk about your passion indicators as well. You'll be able to hear what it is. You'll be able to see. You'll be able to kind of step out of yourself in a sense and watch you operate. I'm telling you, it's deep.
And so I share a lot of how I learn a lot about who I am, who I am in the earth and who I am to other people and how I influence other people and what they tell me. I'm telling you, it's just, you start to see this pattern. The revelation comes and it's like, okay, I got it. I got it. I'm ready to run with it now. I got the vision. I'm ready to run with it. I'm so excited because I'm excited for those who have signed up, those who are signing up and those of you who are going to sign up. But let me stop talking. Go to Get Your Life Back Academy and look at all the wonderful courses. I'm so glad that you tuned in today. I hope you got something from this little piece of information I had to share with you. Because you take care. You can still get your life back. Get your life back. It's real. Get your life back. Get your life back.